Hey guys, welcome back to Back to Basics Boot Camp, and this week we are doing peekaboo methods. So each of us is going to be showing you how to do a different style of peekaboo, and I'm going to start us off with an ink flow power wash peekaboo. That was a mouthful. So <clears throat> I have already prepped this tumbler. And I just put about 15 milliliters of wet epoxy on this and we are going to ink it. So we're going to do just a basic ink flow. I have all of my colors lined up and then we're just going to do like a lake vibe, like summer vibe type ombre. Um, and I have uh, all my colors from Marabou. I have Lagoon for my blue. I have uh, neon violet for my purple, sunshine yellow, <clears throat> tangerine, and then I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for pink, so I have the neon pink and magenta here, and I'm kind of just going to decide in the moment, or maybe do both. And then I have um, my Alumalite white opaque dye, and I've added that to just 10 milliliters of epoxy. This is just one drop. This is very opaque white, so I'm gonna do that in between like the colors to kind of blend them a little better. And then I also have my heat gun. So we are going to get started and toss on the inks. I like to start um, at the top and work my way down typically, <clears throat> but I think that I'm going to do the opposite today because I <clears throat> I don't know which pink I like for this vibe. So I'm gonna start at the bottom instead so that I can like visualize what's gonna look best. Like once every other color is on there, then I'm gonna have a better idea of what I want. So I don't wanna forget the bottom, get some drops on the bottom. So I've got that, I got the purple. And then I've got my yellow. And you just kind of have to visualize like your tumbler in sections and you're like, okay, I have this many colors, so I need to kind of do each part of the cup in a color, like break it up into fourth surface or thirds or whatever it is that you're doing so that each color has its own like chunk. And I can already see that my purple is overtaking my blue just a bit. All right, so I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna do both of these pinks. The only thing is that, like I love this neon pink, it's really pretty, but it tends to, um, it tends to fade out when you add that white opaque dye and I don't know if that's like all the time or if that's just my experience, but I'm just gonna do a little of both magenta and the neon and kind of see if that makes a nice pinky color. So and then I'm just gonna a little more of this blue down here. And um, you can see it kind of repelling in some spots. That's okay, it just means there's like not quite enough epoxy there. Um, but I'm, because I'm going to go in and uh, use that, that white, it's gonna fix that. So it's gonna add more epoxy. I'm just putting gloves back on really quick. And then we are going to add the white. Okay. So I'm just gonna do little bits to kind of blend the colors. And I don't want too much white on each color necessarily, but I do want to kind of <clears throat> make sure I cover the areas that are missing epoxy. So I'm gonna do some on the bottom here, cause this little area was like, I don't know what happened there. All right, so I am, that purple really, I don't know what happened there. And sorry, my dogs are now barking because my husband just got home. Great timing, right? 
So, uh, all right, we're gonna go in with the heat gun now. And we are just gonna try and get all of these colors moving. And I just, you just want to keep the heat moving so that it doesn't give too much heat in any one spot. There is a lot of white down there on that purple, so I'm probably going to add a little more purple, possibly. Let's see if I can break it up. I just made it kind of light. But, same with this right here. Okay. I just had to take you off camera for a minute because the heat gun is loud, but this is where we're at right now. I did add a little more purple down here, played with it because it was losing some color. Um, but if you see like right here, I feel like there's some white coming up. You can just hit it with the heat if you feel like there's too much ink or something. But. This is where we're at so far, and then we are going to do a decal on this once it's dry and power washed over it, and then remove the decal. So it's going to be super cute. So we will come back when this is dry. All right, we are ready to do the next step of our power wash peekaboo. So I laid this Lake Life decal on with some 631 vinyl. Um, and then I have that outline as well. I got this file from Shanta's workshop and I will link it below, but it's nice because it comes with the outline. So I don't have to like think about it. Um, I have my Dawn Power Wash. This is the free and clear one. It has the worst or the less, lesser of the worst smells. I really hate the way this one smells. Any of them, all of them. Um, but the, um, and then I have white Rust-Oleum. So we're going to use that over um i already have my water running because <laughs> i didn't want to have to like go off and run and turn the hose on so i'm going to try and do this quick so and my dogs are everywhere um so what you want to do is if you want lots of color peeking through you want to do big sprays of the power wash if you are if you want like more paint and less spots then you want to go um, lighter on the power wash. So we're going to go pretty light on the um, power wash on the this part because I don't want, so I'm kind of like holding my power wash further away, doing smaller sprays, and then I'm going to do bigger ones kind of along the back side and the bottom. And then um, we're going to spray, and we need to go pretty quick. You want to spray it kind of close, kind of lightly. And I like to hold it at this angle so the paint doesn't run and drip down. Um, and then you're going to quickly grab your water. And you can use a bucket too. I know some people do that. But I just typically just run my hose along it. And then, so there, this is where we're at right now. And then once we um, get it, once this dries, we're going to remove this right here. And then we'll be able to lay our um, outline on. So we'll do that just in a few minutes once this dries. Okay, so I had a bit of an issue with my silhouette and it kept um, cutting my letters weird. So anyway, um, <laughs> I did half of it because I wanted to make sure that this was working um, and then just to make sure that everything lined up right. And then I have the sun and the other words so I can still show you guys like how to do the um, remaining peekaboo part. So I'm actually going to um, remove these and remember this is 631 vinyl so it is a lot easier um, to pull off and you really don't want to use um, permanent 
because you run the risk of it like peeling up your epoxy or whatever. And I did make sure, I let this dry for about 30 minutes. Um, you can always wait longer. You can also, for power washes, you can also um, epoxy first and then lay down your outline. But I'm a rebel, so I don't. But I've also like rarely had issues with it pulling up my paint. So I just go for it. All right, so that laid on there pretty nicely. I do wish I had gone a little heavier on the um, spray paint right in here, but I think I got too much power wash. But, um, so you can see this isn't pulling up, the, my transfer tape's not pulling up the paint or anything, it's dry. Um, and that's it. Pretty easy. And you can do this with like so many different designs. I've seen people do like palm trees for like a beach. I've seen people do mermaid tails, um, all kinds of things. And you can use different colors for your um, power wash. I've seen people do patriotic ones. Um, I've done ones at Halloween. Lots of fun ways to use it. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and uh, check out Emery NK on Wednesdays for her boot camp videos and Pale Bird Designs on Friday for hers. Thanks for watching. Bye.